my name is Jim T. Chong, and I'll be your MC for today. And uh, there's going to be a lot of great things that will be happening uh, throughout the day here. Are we excited to be here this morning? All right. This is so exciting. And I'll tell you, um, this is an incredible event by Rebecca Hall Greider, and this is the Mindful Holiday Magic. She is an influencer as well as an empowerment leader that really wants and strives to help each of us reach more people, hence the event today. She has built multiple businesses and platforms to help influencers and experts reach those people. And through her conferences, workshops, and live events, they're designed to equip and empower you to step forward and shine. And she has over 15 collaborative books in which she supports the readers, but she also lifts up the co-authors. That's what Rebecca's really all about. And in her international radio show, Empowering Women, Transforming Lives, she has currently played through 10 different networks and 12 different channels. Her international TV show, currently released through four different TV networks, features experts and influencers, bringing them to the global marketplace. And she now has her R. HG Magazine and TV Guide, and get this, is shared in over 50 countries. Let's give a round of applause for that. And her TV network, called the RHG TV Network, features, uh, that's featured over seven TV channels, and they each produce and uh, share multiple programs and TV shows around the world. There is truly a global reach. And recently, she received the honor, and this is uh, really special here, of one of the top 10 working women of America for her empowerment work in the area of entrepreneurship. Rebecca is the CEO of RHG Media Productions, founder owner of RHG TV Network, network director of the Women's Channel of Voice America in both TV and radio, and the founder owner of Your Purpose Driven Practice and the creator of the Speaker Talent Search. And you know, she's very phenomenal. She has created platforms that reach over 7 million people. If I can have you all please stand, please stand. And she creates the platform to help us all shine. So let's give a big round of applause to Rebecca Hall Greider. Oh, I love starting with a standing ovation. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. I'm so honored and excited to spend today with you. Thank you for coming and joining us today. Jim, thank you for the beautiful introduction. So appreciate it. And we are here today to celebrate, to be mindful and to really discover how to bring that magical holiday spirit from within, throughout the holidays, and throughout our life. That's what we're here to do today. Does that sound good? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, good, good. Then you're in the right place, I'm glad. Well, as I was preparing for today, you know how there's things that kind of touch your heart, and you sometimes think, oh, that's really cool, that's for someone else? Have you ever? And then it comes again and again, and about the third, fourth time, you're like, oh, <laughs> maybe that was for me. <laughs> so I had one of those experiences just the last little bit, and I wanted to share that with you. Is that cool? So are you all familiar with The Lion King? Okay. And the scene where he's Akuna Matata, right? No worries. Off on his own, enjoying life, but the pride is struggling and someone comes to bring him and he's like no I'm happy here no worries and yet he goes to sleep and he has a dream his father comes to him and reminds him remember who you are remember your calling remember your birthright remember who you are are, and I mean on a cellular level. And I think sometimes we get caught up in the busyness of the season. We get caught up in the glamour. We get caught up in all these different things and it starts to feel heavy. And we start to feel pulled a lot of different directions. 
Today, I want to encourage you to remember who you are on a deep cellular level. Be willing to strip away those things that no longer serve, or perhaps aren't you, or weighing you down. I give you full permission to claim what is yours, to say yes and no. No can be a full sentence. (laughs) Agreed? Okay, so I'm gonna remind you throughout our time together today to remember who you are and remember your birthright. Remember the calling placed on your heart. Be open to the quickening of your spirit as we go through our time together today because part of bringing our magic is bringing us, being willing to bring that forth. Are we game? Yes. Okay, so we're all in the right place? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Well, I have some tools to kind of support us. So before I go too deep into our conversation, our time together, I wanted to run through some of those things because we have a full program, we have lots of amazing speakers and you have amazing people around you at your tables. And I want you to be able to really leverage and maximize this time together. Those are some of my favorite words. You'll, you'll hear me say that. Maximize, powerful, wonderful, leverage. You'll hear that, <laughs> fair warning. So here's some of the tools that we've got for you. We have these beautiful folders, and they're actually designed to be opened. (laughs) We put things in there for you. (laughs) So as you open the folder, I want you to notice a few things. We've got a lovely bookmark, because we want you to be able to find us online and on air, so we have that information. We also have our freshly hot off the press 2018 empowerment series information, so you're gonna find that in your folder. And then a couple of announcements that we wanna make around the speaker talent search, et cetera. So I encourage you throughout the day, please open up that folder, (laughs) review the information. It really is there to serve and support you and help us stay connected. But have any of you ever gone to a half day or a full day event, or even a multi-day event, where there's a lot of great content, you're there, you're in the presentation, that's amazing, and you're taking that in. And then the next amazing presentation comes, and then the next, and by the end of the day, you're feeling beautifully full to that overflowing in a great way, like you feel nourished, and you have all this to give, but it can be a little bit of a blur of what took place during that day, even though you took amazing notes. Has anyone ever experienced that? (laughs) And that's a little overwhelming to go back and where was that thing? So I have a tool for you. Da-da-da! It's the magic insert form. You also open it. (laughs) And this is where you can put highlights. You can put key things that's on a cardstock that you want to take action in. Because something I have learned is ideas stay ideas until you take an action. And the only way to bring that idea forward is to take action and bring it into a cellular level. One of the things is we're looking at taking action. You wanna think about intentions, and we're gonna start setting intentions here in a little bit. But with your magic insert form, I want you throughout the day as you're getting those highlights, those, oh, that's it, that's the thing I wanna bring forward in my life, I wanna move forward in, I want you to write it down. Start getting it out of your head and where you can see it, you can read it, you can actually start bringing it into reality. And then I want you to figure out that was an amazing insight. I'm gonna remember who I am. I'm gonna remember what I'm called to bring forth. But then for us list people, do we have list people in the audience? I'm Rebecca Hulk Ryder, I am a list person. That means I love to make lists every day. It's like motivating and exciting to me. And if I do something that's not on the list, I write it on and check it off. (laughs) Right, list people? This is what we do? Okay, so for list people, I want you to write the action, assign a date, and look, there's already a checkbox for you. (laughs) So you can check that off if you are a fellow list person. But I find not everybody is a list person. So some of us (laughs) are more visual in how we receive information, how we capture that. Um, Not necessarily in a linear form. Do I have uh, the more creative kind of visual people in the audience? Yeah, I've got something for you too. It's disguised in the form of this beautiful star. 
And you should have these on our, your table that you can share. And if you don't, we'll make sure those get passed around. We're missing some stars. Oh, they're coming around, so the stars are floating through the air and will be arriving at your table momentarily. But here's how you will use these beautiful stars. So those of you who are more visual in how you receive information, I want you to, and I'm just thinking this table, you guys wanna see too. Let me back this up a little. In the center, what goes in the center of the star? Right, you go in the center of the star. So I want you to write your name in the center and to give yourself a hug of love. As you do, I'm not seeing hugs. Where are hugs? Good. <laughs> Beautiful, good, good. In the center. And then the point, the top of the star is connected to our first speaker, Monica. Where is our Monica? <laughs> so things that touch you, encourage you, or um, resonate with you, I want you to capture that in whatever way they come to you in this part of the star. And then what does R stand for? Rebecca. That's right, Rebecca. So same thing for me. And then we have C for our Cynthia. And then S for our Sandy. And then we have, today is a really special day. We're going to actually be featuring our amazing Bloom authors who've become number one best-selling authors. Let's give them a round of applause. Can we have our authors, our number one Bloom best-selling authors stand for a moment? Beautiful, so excited to have all of you here today. Thank you very much. And I wanna point them out for a couple reasons. <laughs> and this is my dad, everyone. <laughs> Who also is one of our authors in the book. But I want you to get to know them because those of you who are VIPs in your bag, you actually have our book. So those are your VIPs and guess what, I bet if you went over and asked them really nicely, they would be happy to autograph and sign your book. So that can be an opportunity to connect. But as we do our special featured presentation for our Bloom authors, I want you to have the opportunity to connect in with them and see what touches your heart because they're gonna be sharing really powerfully and I know there is something for each of you in what is here and prepared for today because it is not an accident that you are here. You're here on purpose and for a purpose. In fact, you said yes multiple times to be able to be here. You said yes when you registered. You said yes when I sent the confirmation. You said yes when I reminded you. And then yes again when we sent the details just before the event, and then yes yet again when you came today fully prepared to receive. So I celebrate your yes. I celebrate your willingness to give yourself a day to be poured into and to receive powerfully into your life. So I claim this time as yours. And I want you to feel that all the way to your feet that this is your time. And we're gonna do some things to help you really utilize this space and time to receive exactly what you need without distractions, without being pulled a million different directions by really being present. Well, let me go through some more of the tools. So we talked about the star for our visual learners. We gave ourselves a hug, so we started the day with love, right? I'm happy about that, but I celebrate that. And for our list people, we have supported you as well. We started with a hug. But I think it's also important to be reminded of a truth that we sometimes forget. I think we forget how wonderful we are, how beautiful and unique we are, and how we show up in the world, how we are vibrationally and on a cellular level. 
And one of the things I think is truly beautiful is when we're willing to be authentic, just kind of real, who we are, perfect in our imperfections. That's a beautiful moment. And I wanna encourage us to be authentic, to be open, to celebrate with one another. If we fill that pool, we wanna go and connect with someone or something touches our heart, we lean into that and we celebrate that. And I've invited my speakers to speak from their heart, to be open to where they're being led, to share what is being called forth, and to do it in an authentic, real way. But have you ever noticed sometimes when you stop trying to analyze everything in your mind before you say it, screen everything, and you speak just from your heart, sometimes things can come out funny. <laughs> Have you ever experienced that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? You'll say no when you mean yes. You'll sometimes say the opposite. You'll stumble over a word, or you might you know, almost have your shoe go into the thing. Like You can have all these things happen, right? As part of being willing to open your heart and connect with each other. And what can happen when those moments happen, not if, is we can lose our train of thought. We can start going, oh, I can't believe they did that. I almost tripped and stumbled. Now they're all going to be all distracted. They're not going to listen to me anymore. I lost my place. Like, we start having this other dialogue. Anyone ever experienced that? Okay. And what I know can shift that is remembering to be present, breathe, and the truth that you are so beautiful. So I encourage when you see those moments, that's a moment to let someone know they shine, and you see the beauty in them even in that place. And when you hear that, receive it. We also tend to brush it off a little bit, not take it in. Let's do an example. <gasps> Trip, I am so beautiful. Okay, we're going to try that again. <laughs> I didn't really believe it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I lost my place. <laughs> and you see how I'm like leaning in. <laughs> I'm not brushing this off at all. In fact, let's do it one more time. <gasps> I tore my presentation. <gasps> exactly. So welcoming it in, receiving it, not they just cut a good angle or they don't really know, none of that. Receive that gift that someone has given you. In fact, let's try it out with each other. Now here's, let me give you some rules of engagement here. So when you're gonna tell somebody they are so beautiful, I want you to mean it. Like we're not just saying the words, I want you to see that beauty in them and them to feel it in your eyes when you look at them. So your eye contact's important. And you face them heart to heart. And he say, you are so beautiful. And you pause, holding the eye contact just a moment. Are we in? Yeah. Okay, I want you to turn to your neighbor. On the count of three, one, two, three. You are, you are so beautiful. Wonderful. And let's, let's try this again. Let's find another neighbor. And gentlemen are beautiful as well. <laughs> <laughs> you can be handsome too. It's all good. <laughs> Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. You are. You are too, Sherry. <laughs> and let's go find one more because three is my favorite number. So we're going to do it in three. On the count of three. One, two. New person, two and a half, two and three quarters, three, you are so beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. If I can have all of our beautiful attendees <laughs> find their seat again. <laughs> That would be wonderful. <laughs> Great. And I had shared earlier that I want to support you in being fully present. And what I have found, one of the best tricks to doing that, you guys want to know? Uh -huh. yeah. Is you stop for a moment, 
That's key. Pause. <laughs> and you breathe. You breathe in through your nose. You expand your belly. See how big you can make it. I make it, make it bigger. <laughs> Out through your mouth like through a straw. Let's do that again. Belly big. Beautiful. <laughs> that kind of breathing actually helps lower your cortisol levels, your stress levels, and bring you present. Another technique you can use is especially if you find you're getting overwhelmed or you're getting caught up in, in the monkey mind and really busy, it's taking a pause and breathe. And you put both hands on your heart. You start to kind of feel the beat of your heart. That brings you back into your body and very present. So as you go through today, I want to invite you, if you're feeling that, you can pause and breathe right where you're at can feel your heartbeat and become very present to what is here for you today. Because it's not an accident you're here. There's absolutely something here for you, and I hope multiple things as we go throughout our time together. Okay? So we got those two techniques. Great. The other thing I know is it's a big deal to invest a full Saturday, right? And there's so many opportunities to not do that. And even as you're coming to an event, you can get lost in the traffic. It can get a little bit stressful. There's all these things going on. Okay, pause, breathe. That was a test. <laughs> all these things that can go on, and you start to think about that to-do list and all the different things that, even though you're here in body, suddenly you're somewhere else in your mind. And I want to invite you to really honor being here. You are here on purpose and for a purpose. There's a reason you're here. And it's not just what's happening up on the stage. It's what's happening at your tables. It's what's happening during breaks. It's what's happening as you connect authentically with each other. And I want you present and open to that. So we're going to actually put all of those distractions, all those things that kind of pull at you, into a safe container, and I promise I'll let you know where the container is, and you can pick it up at the end of the day. Is that fair? Because yeah. this is your space, this is your time. Okay, to do this, we need to stand. This is interactive. <laughs> okay, take a breath. You know how we do our breathing. Big belly. Good. Go ahead and close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. And by the way, I can see if you don't. Okay, good. And I want you to just for a moment receive all those things that are pulling at you, all those distractions, getting lost, the to-do list, whatever it may be that's trying to take you away from right now, pull at you a little bit. I want you to capture all of those things lovingly and let's place them in a heart-shaped box. And it's pink and shimmery. And boxes have lids. So as we lovingly collect all of those things and we put them into the box, it has tiny, tiny air holes, nothing suffocates. <laughs> and we put the lid on securely. <laughs> and boxes are heavy. So it's going to take a big breath to remove these from the room and put them into safekeeping. OK? So we got to take a really big breath. <laughs> And as we breathe, we're removing them from the room. <sighs> All the way out the door, keep breathing, keep breathing. Into the parking lot, you gotta keep breathing. All the way down the street to Denny's. <laughs> They've got food, they can wander, air conditioning, they're fine. Great, take a breath. then I want you to go ahead and feel and just see if there's anything else kind of pulling at you. Sometimes when we take that first kind of more um, louder layer away, there's a little bit more that comes up and they can be a little sneaky hiding in the corners. Just take a moment to feel into that. Grab any of those squiggly things and go ahead and let's put them in a blue bag. A little bit of beautiful 
cellophane on top. Great. Let's take a big breath. Okay, on the count of three, we know the drill. One, two, three, out the room, across the lobby, all the way down the street to Denny's. We're putting them in a common place. <laughs> Beautiful. Great, go ahead. Open up your eyes. Become fully present. Wonderful. And have a seat. Good. I always think it's good when we create space and we're ready to receive a full day of information and content and kind of a way of being that we have some framework to start gathering and receiving that information. So I wanted to give you some mind steps. Mind. <laughs> I am so. <laughs> Thank you. We used to think about things <laughs> so that you're able to really receive that information and get the most out of today without it feeling overwhelming. Does that sound good? Okay. So one of them we talked about a little bit. Remembering who you are. Are. And I find there's a real power in that, almost like a, when we start stepping more into who we are, there's like a strength that happens, a grounding that happens, and we become more purposeful. We're almost able to stand even a little taller. I recognize this. This is who I am. So I want you putting out an antenna to tune into that throughout today. What is more of who you are? What is more of what you are called to bring forth? Because believe me, it's in you. It's sometimes just tuning in and remembering. So I want you actively on the lookout for that today. The second way I want you to think about things And this struck me as well. This is another one of those things this past couple of weeks that really um, hit my heart. Does anyone know who Les Brown is? Yes. United Nations. And Speaker Talent Search. I'm hoping there's a yes for that too. Okay. <laughs> so during our Speaker Talent Search, the finalists get to submit a seven-minute video and share presentations. And one of our finalists had spoken before the United Nations. And in addition to the information submitted, shared that as well. And as he's standing there before the United Nations, someone who had lost both his legs in Afghanistan had come back and actually carried the torch for us as a country, is standing before the United Nations. And he quotes Les Brown, and he says, it's not that we aim too high and miss. It's that we aim too low and hit. So I'm going to encourage you, as we're really letting things come into our heart, that we aim high, that we aim far, that we aim further than we can see exactly where it'll land. Not the safe things, not the things we know we can do, but where we're going, where we're called to be, where we're called to stretch, knowing who we are. Let's set that goal where people think we're ostentatious, where they're not sure how you're going to do that. That's a good sign. I want you to set those things for yourself that, that scare you a little bit. You don't know the how. You can figure that out. You can get support. But let's set those goals. Let's aim for those things that are further than we have ever been before. Not where we know we can be or we've already been. So I want you to look for opportunities as we go through our time together. What is that thing that is out there so far you can hardly believe you're claiming that? You feel quickening in your spirit and a little bit of terror, but by golly, you're going to stand in that and do it anyway. You're going to claim that. I'm shooting for the stars. Guess what? There's a lot of them. Maybe we missed that one, but look at the one we hit. Right? 
Let's aim far. We're selling ourselves too short. And part of when we're bringing magic into our lives and bringing that to others is a willingness to stand out, a willingness to shine, a willingness to go where we haven't gone before. And we're gonna talk about how to do that, but this isn't about the how yet. This is really, what is that thing? What are those things I can really stretch way past my comfort zone? I don't even know how, but this is where I'm going. This is my dream. This is my vision. I want you looking for those things today. And then, I want you to have fun. These are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> These should be like joyful. <laughs> and, and there's a shining, there's a joy in, the, in that discovery and really showing up. And I saw many of you raising your hands around visibility, which I love that you're all in, but I was very resistant to visibility, believe it or not. I wanted to be invisible. I did. Many, many years, I never quite perfected it, I was never good at being sneaky, Dad. <laughs> my, my parents can attest to that. I'm never very good at being sneaky and like disappearing. But what I have discovered is being willing to be seen, going through being vulnerable, stripping away some of the layers that we can hide behind, and really being willing to be seen exactly as we are, actually is freeing and joyful. When I discovered I didn't have to like put on the suit and show up as a certain way and that that was my identity, because that's a lot of energy. Have any of you tried to be fully identified in a role and like hide parts of yourself? Has anyone ever done that? I've done that. I tried to get rid of my laugh for a long time because it wasn't very like professional. <laughs> <laughs> that when we do that, it takes a lot of energy. It kind of drains our life away and people can't really see you anyway. They can't really connect with you anyway. But when we're willing, to strip that away and say, this is me, that your energy increases, and guess what, people actually lean and connect. I discovered they're not looking for perfection. Whew. No, breathe that in, it's true. <laughs> Nobody's looking for perfection. They're looking for real people that will lean into them that's willing to be vulnerable, that's willing to care about something so much, they're willing to say the wrong thing, they're willing to shake, they're willing to be imperfect because they care so much about you. They care so much about what they're called to bring forth. And so I like to celebrate this a little bit and embody it. I call it ta-da. <laughs> so one of my cats actually taught me this. So cats have taught me a lot of things. I'm a cat, I'm Rebecca Hawk Rider. I like lists and I like cats, I'm a cat lady. I claim these things. So Nina used to make an entrance when she'd come into the room. She'd come down the stairs, and she'd pause, tail up, and she'd just wait in that stillness for me to notice her. And she'd wait. And if I didn't notice, because I'd be very focused on something, I was busy. You know, she's coming and interrupting me. She'd start chirping. She didn't meow. She chirped. So she chirp, chirp. And I'd look, oh, hi, hi, Nina, and I would pet her, and then she was happy, and she'd go about her cat business. None of my other cats did this. And I, and I observed this, and I thought, no, I wonder what that's like to make an entrance every time you go into a room, every time you enter a space. I thought I would try it out. And I work from home, um, Andrew's my husband, and he never quite knows what he's gonna walk into. Some days I'll have a green facial. That's not his favorite day <laughs> to come home to that. Other times I might be wearing a ball gown and everything sparkly I own just because I felt like it. <laughs> you know, what is it that kind of lifts my spirits, helps me enjoy the day and embody whatever, or a cowgirl hat, you know, just whatever I felt like doing that day. So <laughs> my neighbors here, this is what happens behind closed doors. <laughs> so you know. And so I thought, you know, I'm going to try this out. So I laid the trap. My office is upstairs, Andrew's downstairs, and I waited till he got home and got focused. And I came down the stairs. And I looked good, dressed a lot. Came downstairs, and I waited. And I waited. <laughs> and I waited. <laughs> and I'm <coughs> busy. 
<laughs> and I waited. <laughs> um, he looks up, I go, he goes, uh, hi, hi, honey. I said, don't I look good? <laughs> yes, honey, you look great. I went, ta-da. <laughs> so then I, I felt like he needed a little training, just, just like I did with Nina. So we started doing this more and more, just randomly. I wouldn't, you know, I didn't want to have a regular pattern. <laughs> because I want us to really show up. It's not always planned, right? And I would do this, and you know what I discovered? It's contagious. <laughs> Nina passed it to me. Guess who I passed it to? Oh, him. Mm-hmm. And mine was like, hey. Yeah, his was like, hey, with the hat. He likes hats. <laughs> so he'd come up the stairs, and he'd do, hey, don't I look good? I said, you look, you look hot, honey. You look great. <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. And then I thought, what if I showed up every day like this? What if I greeted myself like this? So I would go into the mirror some days, especially that day I'm feeling a little tired, moving a little slow. I go to the mirror front and center, I go, ta-da, I have arrived. And I say it out loud too, it's not just the, the energy. And I'll start laughing, but instantly my energy raises. So we can enter everywhere we go with the ta-da energy. And the other thing I learned is you know how people take a lot of pictures these days and they put them on social media? Yeah. And if you do the duck away, they take the picture anyway. Have you seen what the duck away pictures look like? I have discovered, you know, weird facial expressions, all kinds of things, so I have learned it's actually better just to face front and center, smile at the camera, and bring that ta-da energy. Ta-da, much better picture. It makes, look, it makes it look like you did it on purpose and with purpose. So if you have those moments throughout today where suddenly it feels like the camera's on you and you're not sure what to do, what are you going to do? Ta-da! Okay, let's, let's get this going. Let's stand up. I want to really build this ta-da energy. And there's a celebration in it, like embracing who we are and enjoying that. Are you ready? What's my favorite number? Three. Okay, so on the count of three. One, two, three. Ta-da! Okay, let's try the other side. One, two, three. Ta-da! Okay, and both hands front and center. One, two and a half. <laughs> two and three quarters. Three. Ta-da! Beautiful. Great. So we are ready to celebrate, to pause, to be present, and to fully receive and share the gift of who we are. Are we excited? Yes. Are we good? We're feeling ready to be poured into? Okay. Then I have one more activity for us. And this is to be intentional. Because you're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. And I want you to tap in. And you know what? It might actually be a little different than why you thought you were here. Why you signed up. Why you said yes. When we really pause and listen, there can be more information that will come forth. So let's take a moment and close our eyes. You're absolutely safe. Remember our big belly. And in this safe place, what is it that you need today? What is it that will encourage you equip you, empower you. Let's put both hands on your heart. Let's really feel in and connect. If you want to put one hand on your head, kind of bring in mind, body, soul, and spirit in, whichever serves you. But what is it that you need today? That will help you be encouraged and empowered to discover your magic, to shine, to bring your ta -da energy forth. What is it that you need? And I'm gonna add something here. Are willing to receive. We have to be willing. What is it that we need and are willing to receive? Beautiful. Feel into that. And then go ahead and set an intention around that claim, I'm willing to receive this. I intend to actively 
be looking for this and open to receiving this today. Real time. Beautiful. Okay, come back into the room. Take a breath. Because what we're going to do is get to meet each other. And we're going to do this in a really special, mindful way. (laughs) Wonderful to meet each and every one of you. Did you enjoy meeting each other and connecting a little bit more? And there were some similar intentions, and then I found as people were sharing, there were some more I was kind of adding within myself, so you may find that too. Oh, let's take a moment to just kind of breathe in and connect in everything that was shared with us. And in fact, I want to dial that up. Are you game? Yeah. Okay, let's stand. Feel the ground supporting you. Move around a little bit. Let's get all those cells. It's part of the process here. Great. And I want you to think about the intention that you shared and perhaps a couple that kind of resonated with you. And let's breathe them in. Kind of hold them in our heart. And if it helps, close your eyes or not. That's optional. And then breathe that out. And picture all these intentions mingling together, creating this beautiful, luxurious, I'm going to call it like a soup that we get to be in, a rich soup. And let's breathe that in and hold that in our heart. And then breathe that out, sending that love, a hug, and breathe it out. And one more time. An extra squeeze and love as we support one another and ourselves. And then breathe that out. And whenever you're feeling a little disconnected, I want you to move around because it's all around us. And remember that we are supporting one another. Come back into your heart and know that we are here lifting each other up, lifting our intentions up. And feel free to breathe that rich soup in. Any time throughout the day and know that you are supported. Wonderful. Go ahead and have a seat. Are you a speaker looking to reach more people with your message? You have a global vision that you want to touch the world and make a global difference. If so, I have an amazing opportunity for you. It's called the Speaker Talent Search. Again, that's the speakertalentsearch.com. You'll find all the details, but here are the highlights. With one application process, you get clarity on your message. You get to fine tune how you want to reach the world. Then you'll have everything ready in one place for the opportunities when they come. Second, we select you as a finalist. You get to come in an audition with a seven minute audition, open up the door to hundreds of speaking opportunities. I hope you lean in. I hope you say yes. We would love to hear your message. Help you touch the world powerfully. Again, that's the speakertalentsearch.com. We look forward to hearing your powerful message.